What is up everyone? My name is Brandon Dopp and I teach you everything that you need to know about print on demand and Etsy. If you're new here, be sure to hit that notification bell and subscribe to my channel to make sure you do not miss out on anything that can help you make passive money online and create the lifestyle that you want. In this video, I will show you how to create a printful product with multiple versions of a design on the same Etsy listing. For example, adding a white design to your dark colored shirts and a black design to your light colored shirts. Let's go ahead and jump into my computer and we will get started. You will first want to sign into your Printful account, and this is my Printful account that I use for tutorial purposes, as well as my Etsy store that I use for all of my tutorials. Once you have signed in, over on the left-hand side, go to Stores, and then you'll go and add a product, so click Add Product, and then go and find whatever product it is that you want to add to your store. So I will do T-shirts for this example, and then I'll add the Bella Canvas 3001, that's one of my most favorite T-shirts to sell. So I'll click on the T-shirt, and now you want to make sure you have product highlighted, and then you will go and choose the colors that you'd like to offer. So I will be doing black, I will offer white, athletic heather, as well as mauve. Once you have selected your colors as well as your sizes, you will go and add your first design. So you'll click drop your design here, and now you need to upload your design. So go and find it from your computer by clicking this red button here, or you can add it from your drive or from your Dropbox. And I've already added mine, so I'll go and select my first design. So we'll do our white design first. You'll click place, and then position your design to exactly where you'd like it. You can either click on the design and drag it up, or you can use your arrows on your keypad. Anytime I'm moving my design around, I do like to make sure I have the grid turned on so I can see the print area. So place it where you'd like. Now that we've added our white design, you'll scroll down. You'll see that it works on the black shirt and the mauve shirt, but for our athletic Heather and our white shirt, we'll need to add the black design. And I'll show you exactly how to do that next. So for the time being, click Proceed to Mockups, and then you will click Proceed to Details, and then this is where you would input all the information. So add your product title, add your description, and as you scroll down, you'll add all of your 13 tags, and then the style, and then you'll come down here to the bottom where it says Proceed to Pricing, and then click on Proceed to Pricing. Adjust the prices accordingly to whatever price you're selling them for, and then you'll click Submit to Store. And it will take a few seconds to submit to your store, but if it doesn't show up, you can either refresh the page or over here on the right hand side, you can click refresh data and it will show up. And we'll see our listing here that we just added. We will now want to edit this listing and add our other variants with our black design. So you'll click edit. And now we need to go and edit our athletic Heather t-shirt as well as our white t-shirt with the correct design. So if you scroll down here, you can filter it by color. I will select the athletic Heather shirt as well as my white shirt, because these are the ones I want to edit. And now you'll need to select this box next to variants, and this will allow you to change the print file. So you'll see it has all 10 variants selected. Now click change print file. Now this is where we'll go and add our black design. And a tip I recommend is leaving your white design here for the time being, add in your black design so you can match it exactly for placement. That way if a customer orders a white shirt as well as a black shirt, the design will be placed the exact same spot. So we'll leave our design here, go to design, and then we'll select choose file, and now go and locate your other design that you'd like to offer within this listing. And once I've added it to my file library, I will click place on that specific design, and now I will match it exactly with my other design. And you wanna make sure that it's centered and it's all good to go before you proceed to your mockups. And now what we'll wanna do is go and delete that white design that is underneath our black design. So scroll down to the bottom, and you'll find your white design or however you labeled it. Just make sure it's the correct one, it's the white one. And you'll click this trash can here and hit delete. And now we have our black design on our athletic Heather shirt as well as on our white shirt. Okay, once you have it all set and ready to go, you'll click proceed to mockups and then hit submit. And then the new edits that you made will be pushed to your store and you'll be able to finalize your listing. So you'll see updated a few seconds ago. If it's still not showing, you can refresh the page if you'd like. Now on our black shirt, we have our white text, and then on our white shirt, we should have our black text. And now we'll jump over to our Etsy store and add our final details before we make our listing public. So if it hasn't shown up yet, refresh to the page, and it will show up in your drafts. Anytime you push a listing from Printful, it gets pushed to your drafts. And here it is under our drafts, underneath the listing status. We will select our listing, we'll click on it to edit it. And you'll see that it updated. Now our black text is on our light colored shirts and our white text is on our dark colored shirts. Go and delete these mockups, add your own mockups that you created. 
and then you'll go and add the final details to your listing, double check everything, make sure it's good to go, and then hit publish. If you wanna know what to avoid when doing print on demand, watch this video here. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.